Cloning seems like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's been going on for hundreds of years. In fact, even farming and any method of asexual reproduction can be considered cloning, since cloning is merely a creation of one organism that is a genetic copy of another. Human attempts at cloning date back to the late 1800s, when Wilhelm Rowe and Hans Spemann discovered that half or even multiple organisms could develop if their early embryonic cells were split. Since then, geneticists experimented with the alteration of embryo cells to develop modern methods of isolating genes and transferring a nucleus from one cell to another. The two main types of cloning, reproductive and therapeutic cloning, both begin through somatic cell nuclear transfer. Somatic cell nuclear transfer is a process in which a somatic cell, a cell which can come from anywhere in the body, is implanted into an egg whose nucleus was removed. Once the somatic cell is stimulated with a small electric shock, it begins to divide through the process of mitosis into a group of cells with the exact same set of DNA as the original organism. In reproductive cloning, a mother donates an egg cell. Once the egg cell is stimulated with a somatic cell, it begins to grow into an embryo and is placed back into a uterus to develop into a fetus. This new, living, breathing organism is genetically identical to its nuclear donor. This is how Dolly the sheep, the first successfully cloned mammal, was cloned in 1996. The process is beneficial to parents with genetic disorders or those who are otherwise unable to have children. Therapeutic cloning is used to grow or repair organs or to cure diseases rather than create entire new organisms. Therapeutic cloning takes place when the egg from somatic cell nuclear transfer divides to form a cluster of cells called a blastocyst, which contains a large amount of stem cells. Once integrated into an organ, these stem cells can specialize and replace damaged and dysfunctional cells, possibly curing paralysis due to spinal cord injury, Alzheimer's, and other diseases. Even though cloning may sound like a wonderful breakthrough for humanity, there has in fact been a lot of debate over whether or not it is an ethical procedure. Reproductive cloning has had a low success rate. In fact, it took 276 tries before Dolly the Sheep was successfully cloned. Some people fear that genetically engineered clones would stop natural selection and alter the gene pool, and would diminish the sense of originality that every individual owns. Others argue that life begins before stem cells grow, and that altering the fate of living cells is immoral. The great moral debate hasn't stopped scientists, however, and research for this potentially life-saving procedure continues.